Hey GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report with a 60 second review of the Vaunt Spark LED headlamp. This is Jason Atkins with the Wyoming Way podcast and you're watching Gear Report. You may have seen the Vaunt Spark LED headlamp available from Amazon in a two pack for $15 shipped. If not, there's a link in the description. I recommend the Spark headlamp for light duty use around the house or while traveling where the ability to use off the shelf AAA batteries is important. The Spark headlamp is advertised as <laughs> indestructible and waterproof. I believe both claims are exaggerations, but it's still a fairly nice LED headlamp at a bargain price. I used the Spark headlamp around the house for a week, then this past weekend on a camping trip and it performed as advertised. The wide elastic band was easy to adjust with gloves on and relatively comfortable. The Spark headlamp worked every time that I used it and even survived a drop or two. I don't have a way to validate the 200 lumens output claim, but the white light focus beam seemed plenty bright for walking around camp in the woods after dark. I kept it on the lowest brightness setting most of the time as that was all I needed. The three batteries lasted just fine for me and should last through a normal weekend camping trip with ease. There are eight settings. First we have off, then in white light, low, medium, high, and strobe, if we hold the button, it'll switch over to red. Now we have a red light or red SOS. We'll hold that single button again, and it changes back over to white light. And there it's off. Empty, the spark weighed in at 46.3 grams, which is very close to the advertised weight of 45.5 grams. However, when you add three AAA batteries, the weight goes up to 79.2 grams. The Spark headlamp appears much better built than other similarly priced LED headlamps that I've tried over the years. However, with no rubber seal around the battery compartment to keep water out, I suspect that the IPX5 ingress protection rating, which means it should withstand a water jet directed at any angle for one minute without any water ingress, is wishful thinking. Since it's not rated for immersion, I wouldn't claim this headlamp is waterproof, but it will likely survive a typical rain shower that you might encounter while camping. I would definitely consider this headlamp for young scouts that are likely to lose items while at camp because at two for $15, it's really not a big deal if one of them gets lost. I definitely wouldn't put the Vaunt Spark headlamp on the same level as the AAA powered black diamond ion or the rechargeable Nightcore NU25, which is my current favorite backpacking headlamp, or even the Streamlight Bandit Pro, which I use most often. But none of those would be a fair comparison because a two pack of Vaunt Spark headlamps cost less than a single of any of the other models that I mentioned. If you found this review helpful, please consider subscribing to the Gear Report channel so you don't miss any of our future reviews. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments, and a big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail.